There are only a handful of companies in the world that could argue they have power approaching that of Alphabet, or Google, as you may know. And ever since its initial public offering in 2004, Google stock has performed accordingly. But the company behind the world's leading search engine is not the growth dynamo it used to be. On top of that, its rivals are getting stronger, and for the first time, it's an open question in Silicon Valley whether Google might lose its search mojo sooner rather than later. So, here's a brief overview of the Mountain View, California-based technology giant, its core area of business, and, most importantly for prospective investors, the pros and cons. So, let's take a look. In 2015, Google restructured its business and reincorporated itself as Alphabet, a holding company whose major subsidiary would be Google, the world's dominant search company. Under the restructuring, investors were able to differentiate the results between the cash cow Google and its money-losing moonshot investments in the other bets category. Despite the separation, there's a reason the company kept its ticker as G-O-O-G. Alphabet is still essentially just a big proxy for its crown jewel, Google. The search giant controls more than 60% of the U.S. market and likely 80% or more of the global market share. Google stock's lifeblood is digital advertising, a massive and growing industry that along with Facebook, it dominates. Google sells ads against its search results for specific terms and also operates a sprawling ad network placing ads on third-party sites for a cut of the revenue. With mobile overtaking desktop as the world's preferred search device, Google's Android operating system becomes even more valuable. Android enjoys 80 to 90 percent market share and Google is the default search engine for Android. YouTube, Gmail, Google Play, Pixel Phones, Google Cloud, and the company's expanding hardware business are a few of the big-name products and services aside from the search engine. And as for the other bets, it accounts for only about 1% of Alphabet's overall revenue, but loses a disproportionate amount of money doing so. In the fourth quarter of 2017, Google posted $8.76 billion in operating income, while the other brands posted a relatively large operating loss of over $900 million. And this is where some of the wacky and long-term projects live, such as Google Glass, self-driving cars, and anti-aging research. And that's why it uh, becomes so disproportionate with regard to the losses. The first and most obvious advantage to owning Alphabet stock is simply owning a piece of the biggest, baddest search engine in the world. Its core search and advertising model continues to dominate its market and evolve as the advertising market shifts from online to mobile. To this point, total paid clicks in the fourth quarter of 2017 rose 43% year over year. And Android ensures no other search company will meaningfully cannibalize its mobile share. Robert Johnson, the president and CEO of American College of Financial Services, sums up the company's search dominance with a simple qualitative observation. Google is being used as a verb to indicate when one is going to use a search engine. This can be tremendous advantage for a company selling a product or service. The second pro in owning Goog stock, aside from its big-time search engine cash cow and exceptional brand, is the company's investment in diversification, such as self-driving cars, YouTube, artificial intelligence, cloud, and voice search. Its YouTube video service is at the crux of the transition of video content from traditional media to online. Longer term, Several areas hold the type of game-changing potential that could launch a new era of growth for Google shareholders. And in particular, this would be artificial intelligence and autonomous vehicles. 
Alphabet's Waymo subsidiary is already a leader in autonomous vehicles, and Alphabet's R&D investments in artificial intelligence have made it one of the best artificial intelligent companies. A line item dubbed Google and Other Revenues includes both Google Cloud and its Pixel mobile phones grew revenue by 38% in the fourth quarter to $4.7 billion. And that's just a side business. Interestingly enough, one of the biggest cons to buying Alphabet shares is the fact that Amazon.com exists. Not only that it exists, but that it's attacking the search giant on all fronts. Perhaps the greatest long-term risk Amazon poses to Google is its encroachment into voice search, perhaps the future of search itself, where its Alexa virtual assistant has a huge first-mover advantage. Amazon is also seizing digital advertising dollars as marketers shift spending to Amazon.com's growing platform and more and more lucrative product searches begin on Amazon than Google. In cloud, Amazon Web Services is the clear market leader, with Google Cloud playing catch-up. And Jeff Bezos' ruthlessly opportunistic company is also devoting time and energy and resources to artificial intelligence. Another thing to worry about is the specter of regulation, which is getting bigger and bigger headlines. Google may be hit with a second major penalty from European regulators over antitrust. Google is accused of forcing smartphone makers to pre-install services such as Google Search on its Android operating system. And the timing couldn't be worse for Google, given the growing global appetite to break up big tech. And the company may be forced to unbundle Android from its search business. This could be Google's Microsoft monopoly moment. Lastly, Google is arguably somewhat overvalued. By no means is Alphabet the most highly priced company in the market, or even the most overpriced in Silicon Valley. But there seems to be a moderate cyclical overvaluation and Google shares are affected. Alphabet recently traded for about 34 times adjusted earnings, and yet earnings per share grew only 15% in 2017. But no stock is perfect, and Alphabet is no different. But the company does have an incredible competitive advantage in search and works hard to innovate and stay on top of its cash cow while diversifying its business and researching areas for future growth. There's no other company in the world positioned the way Alphabet is, and that's the most compelling fundamental reason to buy. Still, Google stock is arguably expensive, and buying it at elevated price means you may have to wait a bit longer for those returns. But for me, I can't recommend buying Google until you conduct further fundamental and technical analysis. But for Chewdog Charts, thank you.